Hello Elvena players! This is Rike and Timon from the Elvena team. If you wonder why we are sitting here again, as if the last episode didn't happen, well, InnoTV might be gone, but we will have Elvena episodes on special occasions. Enjoy the show! This time's occasion is the next guest race, the Elementals. Finally! After all that talk of the halflings about the big drought and the hints about our past, I'm excited to see how the story continues. Especially after the teaser and last double questline event, the Masquerade. Who are these Elementals? The Elementals are a very old and mighty race which lives in another dimension. They were basically shapeless entities until they teamed up with the old Elvena, who forged special masks for them as part of their collaboration deal, which enabled them to take any shape they want. So now they look like humans and elves? Because they wear masks forged by the Elvena? Well, some of them do, like Madame Estrella from the Masquerade. Others transform into completely different shapes, even houses. And you will build a whole settlement of elementals that look like buildings. We call them manifestations. Why are they doing that and why do they appear now? Actually, the elementals have a big problem. The masks they received hundreds of years ago are getting older and older and don't work properly anymore. They need the Elvenar to repair them. Ah, and they think we are the Elvenar? I mean, we have proven that we have at least similar abilities to the old Elvenar. Certainly, we can also repair their precious masks. Not at first, but that is exactly what they will help us with. With the knowledge of the elementals, the humans and elves can learn quite some of the skills the old Elvenar had. Most prominently, how to produce sentient goods. Sentient goods? Uh, what's that now? Sentient goods are goods you produce in your manufactories by combining the old standard goods with divine seeds. Aha! So I combine marble and seeds in my marble manufactory and that's sentient marble? We call it moonstone, but yes, that is how it works. To add to the challenge, you will also unlock a production boost for one of the sentient goods and it will not be for the same manufactory as your standard goods. So, I recommend to build one more manufactory to produce your sentient good with a boosted production and trade it for the other sentient goods. Okay, but if I have to build another manufactory in my town, I hope you have left some space in my city when you calculated the settlement size. And also, if I have to trade the sentient goods, you have to give me enough players to trade with. You know, not everyone is in the last chapter yet. Yes. We will do as you'd requested, I promise. Very well then. The sentient goods really sound like a tough yeah. challenge, but one I expect you to master quite well. If not, or if so, tell us in the forums or the comment section below. So she can beat me up properly. See you next time and keep, keep on playing! playing.